Shout out to Marco Pajano and Alfredo Jr. for being a part of our channel memberships and all our channel members join memberships. Welcome back Gaming with King family to another F1 Clash video and in today's video we are continuing on our Let's Play series uh, for series 4. Alright so series 4 is sunny side so it's going to be very high temperatures for series 4 just so you know but before we jump into that remember to subscribe to the channel turn on your post notifications also leave a like on this video really appreciate you guys for all your support and also join our 8k subscriber giveaway all right so we have a if you just go over to the community section uh, you'll see a link to the 8k subscriber legendary crate giveaway we will be giving away three legendary crates so go enter for a chance to win a legendary crate all right now for series four uh, it's going to be very hot so unlike series three where you went for the drivers with wetness ability for series four you want to go for drivers with high tire management all right so we have already pre-selected our drivers uh or series four drivers and out of the bunch we have a latifi and schumacher with the drivers at the highest tire management all right and we've already pre-tripped our setup and we have our series four setup with the lowest fast pit time parts for series four that we currently have all right so our pit time is down to 4.35 seconds they are not the best but uh, it still should be able to get the job done all right so let's go down into series four and jump into these races all right so due to the high tire management the high temperatures uh drivers with higher to higher tire management will be able to do more laps comfortably uh so you can get an advantage on your rival as you're gonna see uh, the temperatures are gonna be crazy it's going to be 30 degrees and up. Nothing below 30 degrees in Series 4. Oh, 27 degrees here on qualifiers. Let's see what it's going to be like in the race. Nice little qualifiers here. We did not get out qualified. And we did not lose any position as it's... Alright, so this one is not so hot. 29 to 27 to 28 degrees. So this one is not so hot. So we can go for hard tires and do a one stop on this track, which is Spain. All right. So you can do the one stop on Spain. Uh, after we finish this race, we'll look on the other tracks. So because we're using drivers with good tire management, uh, we're going to go for five laps and then we're going to come back to soft tires and boost to the finish. All right. Because we're, we're able to get four to six laps on these hards. So once we start, I like to cut down right after this corner here on Spain. That's when they kind of get comfortable in their positions. As you can see, the rival Alonso has pulled ahead. However, his Perez is behind. You want to give your driver some support. You don't want to just allow them to conserve and then your rival will just pull away and boost away. You want to keep a close eye on them and you want to give them support once you see the rival trying to overtake give your drivers some support show them some love give them a little boost so they can defend their themselves and just keep going it don't let your driver your rival pull too far away just keep watching them you see them making a move you give support to that move and you just take your time and watch keep a close eye don't just let your drivers go down to conserve and forget about them down there and then let the rival pull away and then you're going to be complaining that the rival is far away by the time you get to boost all right so you want to pay attention to your right drivers and give them some support as you can see i'm giving my drivers a little support and the rival is right there he's not going too far i'm keeping a close eye on him he's already pitted and he's gone to hard tires so we're going to go for five laps and we're going to come back to soft tires and boost to the finish. And this one is kind of for Spain. Uh, you can do this one on tracks like Hungary as well. Down there in series, what series is it? Series two. And when, whichever series Hungary is in, you can also use this technique on Hungary. You can also use this technique on Mexico. 
So whatever track that gives you four to six laps on hard tires, normally you can do five laps and then come back to three to soft tires and boost to the finish. All right, so any, any track that you go into your tire management scheme and you're seeing four to six laps or four to seven laps, then you can do five laps and then come back to soft tires and boost to finish. Especially with these temperatures not above 30 degrees, uh, it's nice and cool for you to go to pit. All right, so we're boosting off our Latifi so we don't stock, all right? You can go to pit in the same lap with both drivers, but you don't wanna go with them too close. So one of them uh, is waiting in the back you want to make sure when you're going to pit, uh, one is at a good distance so he can get in and get out uh, before the other driver comes in. Hence, no stocking. However, you pit in the same lap, but no stocking. All right. Nice clean break there. As you can see, my Latifi went out nice and early. And now let's go. Schumacher is way out in the back here, 23. But that's nice and fine as the rival will have to go back to pit while we will not. His Alonso and his Perez will have to go back to pit uh, before the end of the race. While we are not going back to pit, we're just cruising to the finish. All right. And you can use some cut down techniques. Uh, once you see your drivers uh, acting like he wants to get stuck in a jam, you can go ahead and just manage your tires to the end. It's all about managing your tires at the end of the race when you've made your final pit stop and you're going. It's all about managing those tires. So it's nothing that you can just say boost to finish and you'll just boost and you let him go. As you can see, the temperatures have gone up now to 31 degrees. So we have to look and manage our tires and always pay attention to the weather. Even if it's not a race where, pardon my dogs, even if it's not a race where uh, where the temperatures are normally high, always keep an eye on your weather if it's going to rain or not so you need to know when to switch to wet tires or so on. All right, so you need to always pay attention to that. Now we can just boost in to the finish from here. As the race is already in the bag, as you can see, we can just boost into the finish. And this is all because of our drivers and their high tire management and or good management of our drivers tires that uh, we can get to the finish like this. All right. In fine style. Even finishing crossing the line there, picking up a position across the finish line. And we're about to pick another. Almost pick that one across the line as well. All right. And let me jump into another race. Hopefully we can get a different track. So I can show you how to race on another track. And for the tracks that we won't race on, I'll give you like a down, a low down and those track. All right. Let's see what we get in this free crate. All right. Let's jump into this next race and see if we can get a different track. All right, so for the tracks that we're we're not racing on, after we do this match, then we'll see. All right, so that strategy that we just did, the five and three soft tires boost to finish, now that strategy is only good for tracks like, as I said before, Spain, uh, you can do it also in Canada. Uh, you can do it on Mexico and Hungary. All right. This technique that we're going to be using here on China can be used on the other two tracks in series. Uh, in series four. All right. Nice qualifiers. This is the first time I'm seeing uh, my drivers qualifying so high, even uh, in series 11 with Level 3 Verstappen and level 4 Leclerc. Uh, they don't qualify like this. So this is interesting. 
but as you can see the temperatures are up to 34 degrees so we're gonna go for hard tires and what we're gonna be doing here we're gonna be doing a three three two uh, with hard tires and then we're gonna end with soft tires so we're gonna go for three laps on conserve uh, with hards you can use these this technique on the other two tracks except on Spain as you want to use the five and three for Spain but for the remainder of the tracks oh these dogs these dogs are killing me tonight all right so for the remainder of the of the tracks uh, you want to use this technique as well all right so we're gonna go for uh, three laps with each on softs and then we're gonna go for three laps or we can do the 422 now the 422 would work out would work out better as you'll get two laps on soft tires and we should be able to do two laps on soft tires on boost so the 422 would be the better choice to go for here so we're gonna go with the 422 as we are able to get four laps on these hard tires so you want to conserve for four laps with both your drivers uh, then you want to go to pit you do not want to stock if both your drivers are nice and close at the starting of the third the fourth lap start boosting the one ahead so he can create some distance and go into pit uh, with enough space to get out by the time the second driver should come into pit all right as you don't want both drivers to be going into pit behind each other or else that's going to be trouble all right so that's going to allow your drivers to lose too much time uh, your second driver to lose a lot of time and you don't want that all right so as you can see here our drivers are not nice and close but they have a little distance in between and as i said we're going to be boosting the one at the front at the starting of the fort lap so he can create some distance for himself and go to pit without uh, we stock in. I'm gonna allow the rival Alonzo to go ahead there uh, because I want him to go ahead. Uh, that will help me to create some distance with Schumacher uh, on Latifi here. As you can see, a beautiful distance has been created. Let's check the time. Seven, so that's like uh, six. So now it's like yeah, it's like six seconds. Uh, is the difference and we'll continue to boost Schumacher out and we continue to conserve with Latifi so Schumacher can create that nice distance as you can see here distance has been created now we can boost Latifi uh, into pit as we have created a good amount of distance between both drivers so one will go to pit first and by the time he should get out of pit the other will be right there entering into the pit so there won't be any stocking there we go nice and clean and that's exactly how you want to go to pit with both drivers without stocking all right as you can see our pit time is even faster than the rival so that's epic we got the jump on him with latifi as both of us kind of went in at the same time now we're in our boost phase and we're going to be boosting for two laps on these soft then we're going to come back and boost for two more laps uh, because of the high temperatures makes no sense to do a one stop as the tires are going to burn down really quick all right so the 422 uh, definitely gets the job done uh, for this track and for the remaining tracks in series four except for spain all right so on spain you still can do five and three uh, because you have four to six laps on hard tires while you don't hunt other tracks in series four here all right so this race is in the bag great race definitely a beautiful race here let's go cinematics and enjoy some of the scenery as our schumacher goes to pit and the black pit crew i'm really loving the black pit crew really loving the guys in the black and the red suits wait is Schumacher in first place yes he is nice that was a really nice stop from the pit crew and Schumacher there and Latifi now pulls out in eighth place 
and yeah it is what it is <laughs> one first place Mick Schumacher great race so 4-2-2 four, two, two, uh, four series 4 on the 8 lap races that the tires are not giving you 4 to 6 laps on softs with your highest tire management drivers and you should be just like I'm being here really good all right so we were gonna go for the four the three three two but then when I think about it the four two two worked out to be the better technique to use as you'll be getting four laps on hards and four laps on softs which is really fast on those soft tires really fast the TV now up to sixth place trying to overtake will he be able to get fifth trying now down to the straight inside switch the inside I switch inside there and he got blocked by Verstappen Verstappen is blocking him he finally got him now to get Lewis Hamilton on the line nope no Hamilton on the line all right so hopefully these uh, tips help so you can use the exact same strategy we just did here for 2-2 two, two, uh, for uh, the other two tracks that are not Spain all right I think it's uh, San Marina Bay and uh, the US track all right so you can go 4-2-2 two, two on those tracks and on China and because uh, of the high tire the high temperature uh, the rival will also have to do a two-stop strategy he cannot do a one-stop due to the high temperatures all right let me know down in the comments how you guys are doing so far got Perez there nice so use code word division uh, to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video Really appreciate you guys for all your support. And let's look at it once again. The other tracks. In series 4. Yep. So it's. San Marina Bay. And. Uh, the United States. And China. So you can use the San 422 technique for China. Uh, San Marina Bay. And the United States. Oh, Yas Marina Bay. Yeah, Yas Marina Circuit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Should say. And the United States. So, 422 for those and 53 for Spain. All right. So, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, look out for the second video coming out today. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.